हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू डेंटो सेन मैनी ऑफ यू हैव आस्क मी दैट हाउ टू राइट फॉर योर एग्जाम हाउ टू प्रेजेंट योर पेपर वेल सो दैट यू कैन स्कोर वेल सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू आंसर ऑल योर क्वेश्चन एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू एवरी थिंग दैट यू नीड टू नो फॉर योर एग्जाम प्रेपरेशन सो वॉट हैपन्स वैन योर एग्जाम्स आर अराउंड द कॉर्नर यू स्टार्ट टू फील प्रेशर बट वी डोंट वॉन्ट दैट सो वॉट शुड वी डू वी शुड डू प्लानिंग येस वी शुड प्लान वेल फॉर आर फाइनल एग्जाम नाउ दिस प्लानिंग इज डन एट टू स्टेप्स फर्स्ट इज बिफोर एग्जाम द मोमेंट यू एंटर योर प्रोफेशनल ईयर you have to start preparing for your final exam and second planning has to be done for the day of exam that is what you will do what you will write how you will write so if you have done this planning in two steps properly then all your exam pressure will fade away in seconds so let's get to know how to do this planning before starting quickly subscribe to dentos and add also give a like to this video and also share this video with your friends with your juniors with your seniors who want to know how to prepare for exam so let's start first before exam then the most important thing is you must know first thing is what is the pattern of your university question paper because the pattern may be different for different universities so you must know what is the pattern for your university so that you can do your preparation according to that pattern now let's see what you have to look for in the pattern first you must know what is the university question paper pattern for that subject then you must know what are the maximum marks given in that subject so you must know what marks you require to pass the exam what are the maximum marks next thing you must know whether the questions are divided into sections or not because in some universities section a and section b are given in some universities it's not there then you must know how many long questions are there how many short notes are there so that you can plan your time then you must know whether all the questions are compulsory or whether a choice will be given in your university question paper then you must know whether what is the weightage for dental anatomy and dental histology in some universities both have same marks so you have to do the preparation equally well but in some universities dental histology has more marks the number of answer sheets that you will be given you must know because in some universities you will get only one booklet so you must plan what to write how much to write accordingly then use of color pens or pencils whether it is allowed in your university or not so let's see all these points so why they are important why it is important to know the question paper pattern so that you can know what type of questions are there and how many questions are there maximum marks again it's important so that you know what marks you require to pass the exam and then section division into sections is important because sometimes section a and section b are questions are divided into sections and you have to attempt two sections on two different pages or two different booklets so that you can write accordingly then number of long questions and short notes again very important so that you can manage your time well because because sometimes what you do being first year it's your tendency to keep on writing the question that you know well if you have prepared long question well so you will keep on writing keep on writing so that no time is left to write for short notes but if you already know how many short notes how many long questions are there you can already plan your time beforehand then you must know how many compulsory questions whether choice is there or not again it is very important because if you don't know the choice is there what you will do you will think that you have to attempt all the questions and you will start writing and then no time will be left to write all the compulsory questions again you will lose on marks then dental anatomy and dental histology if they have equal weightage then you have to prepare both the subjects equally but in some universities dental histology has more marks so you have to prepare this subject more strongly then number of answer sheets again is very important because if your university is not giving you supplementary sheets then you have to be very careful while writing your answer you have to space out your answers well so that you don't run out of space for all the questions then use of color pens and color pencils in some universities it is allowed in some it is not so you have to check out with your university or with your subject teacher or from your seniors because if it is allowed then actually you can present your answers very well you can highlight the important points with your colored pens or color pencils so that is why knowing the important pattern of your university is important now let's see how to prepare according to pattern now if you already know the pattern so you can actually plan your answers well before your final exam because planning your answers is important so that you don't waste your time during exam thinking what to write so you already know what long questions are there what short notes are there how much has to be written for long question how much how many pages what diagrams to be made so for preparation first thing you must know the content you should have planned the content of all, all your answers for all long questions for all short notes what would be your headings and subheadings for those uh, those questions which diagrams you will make and what will be your important keywords that have to be highlighted second thing is you should have covered all the previous question papers for long questions and short notes because most of them are repeated so you must already know what are the questions then third and important thing is 
what you need to do for your preparation in your preparation is time management very very important now this is very important point because being first year you don't have the experience of writing university exam and this is the most common mistake that first years do what they do if they know one answer well they keep on writing keep on writing and they don't keep a track of the time then no time is left to write for short notes and then they score will go down so it is very important to manage your time well for example if you already know that long questions there are four long questions and there are six short notes in your question paper so you can plan that you have to just give only 20 to 25 minutes for each long question so that means two hours for all the long questions and you have to give five to seven minutes for each short note that is you can cover all short notes in one hour so total two hours and one hour three hours so then you will be able to manage your time well you will be able to write all your compulsory question so time management is very very important please learn this you before your exam also plan before only how many pages you will keep for long questions for each long question how much space you will give and for each short note how much space you will give usually long questions more space has to be given because they carry more marks and for short notes you can give less space so then how to learn this time management now you don't have any experience so what you can do when you are giving your internal assessment exams in your college so practice that and even if you are just practicing revising in your room give yourself a question paper from the previous year and try to solve that paper in three hours and then see where you lack whether you are able to manage your time well or not so please 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 practice 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 a lot before your final exam to save yourself from this so that you can manage your time well the most important thing is time management for bds first year because dadh paper as well as for third year oral pathology paper are very lengthy paper you cannot just miss out on time management because if you will not be able to manage time then your paper will be spoiled so please learn time management now next thing is what you have to do for the day of exam what planning if you have already prepared well if you have done step one patients you have already done 90 percent of your work so you can actually relax on the day of exam you you can be peaceful and then you can present your paper well with a clear mind so what you have to do for peaceful mind just a day before exam do a quick revision don't go into details you don't have time to read the details let everything slip in front of your eyes give a quick read then take good sleep go take good rest so that next day you are able to think clearly check your kid that whether you have kept all your stationery you have H &E pencils hematoxyl and eosin pencils those are must for drawing histology diagrams so you have to check your kit so that you don't waste your time in the exam then eat light on the day of exam because if you will eat heavy then you might feel sleepy and you will not be able to think clearly and write well try to reach on time then try to reach before time if possible because if you will reach late you will already be in panicky state then you will be anxious you will not be able to think clearly again you will spoil your exam so please 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 try to reach on time so these are very very important and that is how you can maintain your calmness now even if you have not done step one that is you have not prepared for your final exam beforehand and you are here today on the day of exam don't panic because now you don't have any other choice you don't have any other choice but you have the choice to stay calm and to think and to try to recall maybe that can help and maybe try to if you're trying to look at the questions the words which have been asked it can make some sense if you can think clearly you can recall some diagrams try to draw the diagrams try to put labels if you are not able to write the text so that can help you get marks and even if you are able to recall most of the answers then maybe you will be able to pass your exam also so please don't panic even if you are not prepared with your clear mind with your calm mind you can still write well with whatever knowledge you have and you can sco still score well now coming to how to present your paper first thing we have already done that is time management so time is very very important and it is limited so the moment you get your question paper it is handed over to you take a quick glance at the question paper don't waste your time just give two three minutes to see what questions are there even if you don't know questions it's okay don't panic take the questions that you know take the compulsory questions that you have to attempt take the questions from the choices that have been given then divide the sections properly in your answer sheets 
that is again very very important then write the question numbers clearly and question number in order in which they are written in the question paper then your answer sheets should be neat you should avoid cutting your handwriting should be good so that examiner can easily read and understand what you have written then how to attempt long question you should be able to write headings and subheadings you should be able to draw well labeled hne diagrams you may talk and eosin pencils with hne pencils you should highlight the important keywords so you have already planned your long question then for short notes try to be brief try to write attempt answer in points and if possible try to draw the diagram now here in your presentation there are two important points that you have to take care of first you have already discussed that is time management so if you have prepared well you will be able to do this save your time here just give two three minutes don't keep on reading reading even if you don't know the answers it's okay try to start writing with what you know tick the questions clearly whether choice is given or not it will again save you time then divide the sections properly if two sections are given and if the questions have to be written like proper question numbers have to be given clearly it should be put and you should write if question one is for section a write that in section a don't interchange the questions don't write question one in section b because sometimes two sections go to two different examiners for checking and if you have done this interchanging you will lose on marks so very careful be very careful about the sections very careful about the question numbers your question numbers should be clearly mentioned try to be very neat try to give spaces in between your questions so that examiner knows where your answer has started where it has finished good handwriting is very important it will make, make it easier for examiner to understand to comprehend what you have written and if you have not written well he will not be able to give you marks then for long questions it is very important to divide your question into pro proper sections and subsections sometimes long question is a straight question for example you are asked about the principal fibers of pdf so you have to just write the sections subsections and draw a di diagram and highlight the important points but sometimes your long question can have further parts for example you may be asked about a defined periodontium and then describe the pdl fibers so here don't you have to be very careful read your question properly so first you, your question has two parts first part is def definition of periodontium which may be of two to three marks and second part is principal fibers of pdl which may be of seven to eight marks so answer accordingly answer all the parts properly don't just write pdl fibers also write about the periodontium definition so it is very important to read your question properly and answer accordingly what has been asked in the question now second thing is about the diagrams when you are drawing the diagram it's one diagram is must for every long question try to draw your diagram with hne pencils hematoxylin and eosin pencils wherever it is applicable try to put all your labelings on one side don't put labels on both the sides and try to put labels at the same level and give the labels write the labels in capitals or if if possible then underline the labels with pencils so your all the important labels should be there then highlight all the important keywords in your answer because your examiner has to check so many sheets the same day if you have highlighted the important keywords it becomes very easier for examiner to know that you know the answer and he can easily give you marks so it is very very important to highlight your important keywords maybe with your color pens color pencils or underline with pencil so that is very important now about short notes write in brief because it is short note it carries less marks so write it in points for example you have been asked about the myopathy cell first write what it is where it is found what are its functions and then you can draw a diagram if possible so the important thing here first you have to learn the time management and second important thing here is the diagrams now why diagrams are important more diagrams you will draw more marks you will get it is usually said because your diagrams can actually express the knowledge that you know and well labeled diagrams can actually get you good marks because it's dental histology so it's about histology so it's about what you see under the microscope that can be expressed by the diagrams so even if you don't know the text try to draw a diagram for that answer so that can get you marks so that is how you have to present your paper so now coming to the summary so to release the pressure of exam you have to do planning which has to be done in two steps before exam and for the day of exam before exam you have to get familiar with the pattern of your university question paper and you have to prepare accordingly and for the day of exam you have to be peaceful you have to stay calm and you have to present your answers well and you have to do time management time management and diagrams very very important so with that all your pressure will go away now another important thing 
give your 110 percent give your 200 percent give your thousand percent but all i say all i would like to say that don't give anything less than 100 percent give your 100 percent why because you are not able to score well you have given your 100 percent you will still have no regret because you have given all your efforts so if you will give your 100 percent you can get successful now i hope you i have answered all of your questions if you still feel something is left or you want to add something you want to suggest something else or you want to discuss anything further do let me know in the comment section below and that is all for this video do tap on the like button and share this video with your friends keep watching keep learning and keep smiling and good luck for your exams see you in the next video soon till then take care